James here with a little walkthrough of the AWOW tablet. Let's power it on. As you guys can see, we have AWOW powering on. I know there's a little glare of the light. Um, not much I can really do about that unless I kill the light completely. So that's what we're going to do right here. As you can see, it'll take a few seconds to power on. I apologize. I couldn't find my tablet stand. So I couldn't do this properly like I wanted. Um, it says, hi there, you know, vision settings, English, you know, you can change your language. We're going to go in English. Just click start. You know, connecting to Wi-Fi. You know, grab a Wi-Fi and connect it. I'm going to do that offline. Okay, now that I hooked up the internet, you can see we are getting the tablet ready. This may take a few minutes. You know, I may or may not pause through this. Or skip forward through the video for you guys so you don't you guys will see hopefully it doesn't take too long if it does take long you'll see me cut out a little clip of the video and I'll just fast forward so you guys don't have to sit here and watch it just spin over and over and over okay as you can see we are now up and ready to go you can choose to transfer your apps photos from a Google account we're not going to do that we don't really need that right now. Checking your info. I didn't put no info in, so I don't know what they're checking, but whatever, you know. Pretty much all we did was log into the Wi Fi. It didn't ask us for anything else yet. I'm sure it's gonna, if we wanna do like Googles and stuff, see, like that. We'll skip this for now. You guys can log into your Google account and it'll automatically run everything. We're going to skip that for now. We don't need any of that right now. Let's see. Once you use your Google services, even though we skipped it, it's still asking us for this. You know, we'll click through this, you know. Uh, use location, allow scanning, send user and uh, diagnostics, install up the updates and apps. You know, well, whatever. We'll just click accept for that. You can shut those off if you really want. Now it wants us to set a screen lock. Um, you know, just pick a, a couple of numbers or a password that you guys like as a screen lock. Four digit, you know, pin must be at least four digits. I'll do that off screen. Okay, now we did that. It'll ask you to confirm and now we are loaded. As you guys can see, it actually has a speaker. It's quite loud and we're in the tablet itself. Now, if you scroll down, just like any other ones, it says screen protect is on. Android setup is finishing up your UT book, which is pretty cool, you know. But if you guys want to go in here, you'll see your Wi-Fi settings auto rotate. You can turn on screenshot, screen record, and reading mode, screencast, airplane mode, Bluetooth, and do not disturb. I'm going to go into screen re screen record mode, so that's where you guys are going to see everything from this next. Okay, as you can see, we are recording here. We're recording the screen. You guys are hearing my voice. We're going to go into some of the settings. This is just like a regular phone or tablet. You have your Bluetooth settings, your Do Not Disturb, your Screencast, Airplane Mode, Auto reto uh, ro Rotate, Screenshot, Screen Record, Reading Mode. You hit your settings, you'll go into More. You can do your Wi-Fi settings, your connected Bluetooth devices, your app notifications, battery display, which you know display is always good, night light on or off, the brightness, dark theme, screen timeout, and stuff like that. We're gonna back up. Um, sounds, you can do your sounds, you can do your volumes up, you know, like alarm volumes, media volumes, do not disturb, defaults, notifications, screen locking sounds, and charging sounds. All pretty cool. You got your storage, you know. If you want to go into your storage, it shows you how much storage you have. You know, free up space. We're using 7.6 for the hard for the o of the operating system and whatever apps are installed. So only 12% is used of the 64 gigabytes that they give you. Not a big deal. They show you the system files, pretty much what's using it all. We don't have no folders, files, and stuff like that. Now we can do security, location, privacy. If you want to shut your location off, you can. Accounts. This, if you go into accounts, this is where you'll uh, be able to add an account or delete an account, like if you logged into Google Play and stuff like that. 
pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easily. Digital well-being. If you guys want to use a digital well-being for like bedtime schedules, heart rates, and stuff like that, you can. You Google services. This will be able. This is where you know, like, if you click it, if it'll load. I guess it's not going to load because I didn't log into it. That's where you'll be able to set all your Google services, your system. Like, we have a screen timed out. So here's your, it's loading Google now. It just took a couple seconds. Not a big deal. We're going to back up off that. We're going to come back down into settings again. You guys see how you can drop down and go in. We'll go into systems. This is where you'll get language input, gestures, date and time, backup or advanced, reset options. You can reset the whole, uh, the whole tablet. Multiple users, systems update, systems uh, update to Android 10. Um, systems, other systems update, you know, stuff like that. This is checking for an update. See if there's an update, your system is up to date. So we did that. We are up to date, perfectly good. Back out, you know, about the tablet. This will tell us everything we need to know about the tablet and Wi-Fi Max and all that. Good uh, stuff. You guys won't see that part. So in here, we have all your normal stuff like your uh, YouTube uh you camera if you want to turn the camera on uh it's get dark in here because i have light off but you know you have your camera you have your camera settings in camera settings we can do like grid mode flip it to around to see me not see me um stuff like that if you want to switch it to like video camera or camera itself now we can go to camera over here it has a few others timer stuff not a lot of settings in the camera but quick easy simple stuff like that so it's pretty much here are some of your apps that are in here now remember sound record video settings youtube youtube play music tvs photos drive assistance calculator calendar camera chrome google chrome and your clock not a lot of stuff but if you log into your google account you can download more apps and install this now i will be downloading a game app and testing a game app on this but I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of how quick and easy it is to go into your settings and um, turn it on your, your book for the first time or your tablet. Thank you for checking this out and keep your eyes out for more and have a great day.